Hello students of Central Modern School Class 3. Welcome to English 2 class. I am Oindrila Bose and I will take your English 2 class today. Today's video will go with the lesson note which you will get on 11th August. You can see this video in the video gallery. <coughs> students, this is our poetry class. Today, we shall learn a new poem. This is your English 2 book. Our poem today is Just Imagine. Just Imagine by Santini Govindam. First, I will read the poem out then I shall explain the poem to you. Today we will learn the first three stanzas of the poem. Now, so let's start children. Just imagine children. What does it mean? As the name itself suggests that this is a poem which is based on imagination. The poet is, is encouraging children to imagine and this is an appeal to the child's creative mind. Children we know are all imaginative by nature. Children love to daydream. This poem, just imagine, is based on a child's imagination. In this poem, the poetess points out and about the imaginary world of a child. She tries to paint an imaginary world where the child daydreams and imagines various things. Children love to imagine and daydream about things, people, places. Being imaginative makes a child more creative and helps in solving problems. Being imaginative keeps the brain active and healthy. So, what should you do? You should imagine more and more. You should bring out the creative side because imagination will help you in being creative, it will help you in overcoming the hurdles of life and it will make your life more joyful. So let's start with the poem. Before I read out the poem, I will tell you briefly about the poet. This poem, just imagine, is written by Santini Govindam. I'll tell you briefly about the poetess. Santini Govindam is a widely published, award-winning author of children's literature in English. She has written more than 50 books including poetry, picture books and short stories for children of all ages. She is a dog lover and an art enthusiast whose hobbies include collecting bells. So, children, have you ever imagined, uh, say, uh, a frog going to school or your pet dog talking to you? Close your eyes for some time and imagine your dog talking to you, your pet dog talking to you. Or, imagine yourself to be Cinderella or Snow White. The boys, yes, I'm forgetting the boys. Boys, you imagine yourself to be Harry Potter. How do you feel? You feel refreshed, energized, isn't it? Okay, so now let's read this poem to find out what the child imagines. If crocodiles had to brush their teeth the way I do every 
morning and night. Just imagine the number of toothbrushes they would need to keep all those rows of teeth sparkling white. How many times a day do you brush your teeth children? Twice a day. So here in this poem the poetess imagines crocodiles brushing their teeth twice and the child's imagination start the child starts imagining the child's curiosity is aroused and he wonders how many toothbrushes the crocodiles would need to keep their teeth shining white children here the word rose and mark the word rose rose mean lines sparkling sparkling means shining underline the words learn the spelling children r o w s rose s p a r k l i n g sparkling okay now let's come to the second stanza if elephants had to use handkerchiefs every time they sneezed or had a bad cold just imagine how many hankies they would have to wash and iron and fold children i'm sure all of you have seen an elephant where have you seen an elephant in the zoo have you noticed how big an elephant is the size of an elephant it's huge now the child here imagines elephants having bad cold and what does the elephant do then the elephant uses huge hankies okay to the elephant is elephant here uses huge hankies whenever they having a running nose or for coughing and sneezing and the child also wonders what a task it would be for the elephant to wash iron and fold all those handkerchiefs iron i r o n it means press press now turn the page page 41 children third stanza if giraffes had to wear ties around their necks like i do to school every day just imagine how long those ties would be and how they would dangle flutter and sway so in the third stanza the child imagines the tall giraffes wearing ties to school just like the way the child wears tie to school children all of you wear a tie to school every day isn't it yes so giraffes we know are very tall so the ties which the giraffes would use would also be very long and the poet here imagines what would happen to those ties if the wind blew then if if the wind blew then those ties would swing and they would shake quiver and flutter in the breeze now the word dangle d a n g l e dangle means swing flutter f l u t t e r flutter flutter means shake quiver you remember this word shake so children mark the difficult words in your book learn their spellings learn their meanings today we will stop here we will continue with this poem in our next class you have some work in the worksheet please do the work which you have in the worksheet in your english 2 exercise book 
That's all for today, children. Stay safe. Take care. Thank you.